Hi, we are here at Tycon 2014 and with me today I have uh, the CEO of NAC. Guy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Great to be here. Wonderful. What brings you here at Tycon this year? I just came and uh, talked about big data and about our games and the NAC technology. So very exciting and great crowd. So what did you talk about mainly? About how we use data, what type of data we create uh, from our games and how we use that data to help people unlock their potential and be successful in life, education and careers. So NAC is about changing the human potential space through games. So I love the name of your company, NAC. Right. Uh, like they say, you have a knack for something. So is that how the name was found? Exactly. So we actually started as a different name called Talent Science. And then we changed the name because we wanted to appeal to people. We wanted to be a very user. It's about people. It's about their knack. It's about who they are. And you founded in 2010. That's so it's correct. almost four years now. That's correct. In 2010. And we're based in Palo Alto and are growing very fast. Wonderful. How has the response been so far? Fantastic. Uh, we are. We don't have enough people actually to run fast enough to serve all the demand we're getting uh, from the market. Uh, it comes from very major companies, global companies, from universities and colleges, and from people. So we are uh, working very hard to bring it. So, in short, what, is, what does that exactly do? So you play a game and people love playing games. And the game is engaging and fun, enjoyable. As you play the game, uh, we collect massive amount of data. And we use that data to analyze and to better understand you and tell you what are your strengths, what are your abilities, what's your personality like, where are you gonna be successful in life, in education, in career, what's the right company for you. So we help you make decisions, we help you discover the world, we help you also get discovered. So think about it as your own unique ID measured through games and available for you to showcase and to brand yourself and to get discovered. And what kind of suggestions do you give, like based on career or what kind of suggestions? Very specific targeted suggestions. For example, if you're in high school and you say, am I going to go into engineering or economics or something else? You don't really have today tools to make those choices. And the choice is really about what you're going to be successful. Do you have a knack for engineering or do you have a knack for something else? When How do you find that? Like, what is the basis of, the, of all that analysis? Like, just on the way you're approaching the games, playing the games, how do you find that? So how you play the games is really where we start. All the data comes from the game. It's not what you say, it's how you play. And there is no right and wrong. Uh, it's really about how you play. And we collect massive amount of data, not only from the games, but also from outside the games, to understand better what is the knack of people, what makes people unique, uh, that are successful as engineers or computers. So as an science. example, how do you suggest someone is good for engineering? Like, what are the bases? So we look at uh, large cohorts of people that are in engineering and that are doing exceedingly well uh, in different areas of engineers, software engineering or mechanical engineering or other domains. And we then understand and build the models, the patterns of uh, all those behavioral attributes of those people that are successful. And then we can look at, say, are you the new person? Do you have a knack? Do you, are you one of those patterns uh, that uh, will be successful in engineering, which we can recommend to you? Oh, that sounds interesting. So like you said, you you're not, I do not have a background in technology. I do not. I, my background is in economics and law. So how did you get into this? Well, I started the company after I did not get a job that I applied for. So Good I, for you. Yes, and I'm very fortunate and very happy about it. And I thought, how can we actually change the market? Uh, so I thought about game theory and signaling and information and what will make it different for companies and people. And that's what led me to start the company. Even though I don't have background, we have exceptional, phenomenal people on the team. From the technology, to the science, to the data science, to the gaming and design and product people. Absolutely fantastic people that make it possible to do what we're doing. And how's the story with the funding? So we are bootstrapped and we are uh, profitable and we are uh, bringing the product to market. So uh, we have not uh, raised the uh, institutional funding yet, but everything is... Uh, Good luck with that. Open. And any advice for young budding entrepreneurs? To persist and to not to take no's as answers. And many people are going to tell you it's not going to work. People told me this is science fiction, it's not going to work, there's no way. And I said, okay, you know, that's what you say. We continued working and then we came back to her and said, you know, guess what? It actually works. So if you believe, trust yourself and go full forward and believe in your idea and make it happen. There you go. That's a very inspiring story for all our viewers. Thank you so much for taking our time and talking to us. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here.